Hey guys and gals, Vlad here with AVT Astro. So, if winter is upon us, Christmas is quickly approaching. Uh, here in Silver Lake, Washington today, we've got a total storm going on out there. The wind's blowing, the power is actually out right now. So what a better time to make a YouTube video, right? Um, in any case, um, Christmas is almost here, and uh, if you've got um, a son, daughter, that's kind of thinking of uh, getting into the hobby as far as astronomy goes, um, I wanted to make a quick video about a telescope that I think is a really good budget option for you. Um, just a little bit about me, uh, I run a little astro blog called avt-astro.com where I do all kinds of fun astronomy reviews. I've been in the hobby for about 25 years, pretty much since I was a little kid. Um, I've had over 100 scopes, so I've got a pretty pretty good you know, reference uh, for uh, recommending this. So let's check it out. There she is. And let's do the unboxing. All right, so here she is. This is the Sky Scanner 100. Uh, this scope retails for around a uh, hundred bucks. You can get them on Amazon and from Orion directly. Um, it's a four-inch uh, aperture, so that means that the primary mirror in here is four inches. Um, reflecting telescope on a Dobsonian-style mount that's actually a tabletop. So this thing is designed to be either used on a table or if you have like a you know tall stool, a patio, um, like table or whatever outside. These are great for. Um, so why why do I recommend this and kind of like that budget option scope? Uh, it gives you a pretty good aperture, so four inches. Uh, most of the refractors uh, that you'll see in this price range, they're you know like around like a 60, 70 millimeters. So this gives you quite a bit more light rest. Which, um, especially if you're doing deep sky observing, um, it'll give you a much brighter image, much more you know enjoyable image to observe with. Uh, the second thing is, even though this doesn't really come with the tripod, which is kind of a downside, this mount, you know, it's actually really smooth. I mean, for, for being a telescope in this uh, price range, this mount is very nice. Um, the other thing that I really enjoy about this is that they actually do include a pretty good red dot finder. I really like is I actually use these on all my telescopes, um, no matter the price point. You know, I, I like those finders. They're they're really easy to use, um, especially for a child. Uh, like you know, if, if you've got a kid that's trying to get into the hobby, um, you know, you just kind of sight down. There's a little red dot that appears, and you could point to basically at any star, or planet, or you know, whatever they're interested in observing, and uh, it's it's just really easy to use. So uh, the kit does include two eyepieces. It comes with a 20 millimeter eyepiece and the 10 millimeter eyepiece. I'm not really sure what the design of these are. Um, for being, you know, a budget eyepiece option, uh, they're, you know, they're about a 50 degree field of view, which is, you know, decently wide. Um, sharpness wise, you know, I mean, it's an entry level scope, so these aren't going to be like the best eyepiece out there, but pretty good eyepieces. Uh, the 20 millimeter uh, will give you a uh, 20x with this telescope, and the 10 millimeter will give you a uh, 40x with this telescope. So fairly low power. Um, this guy is kind of more designed for you know scanning just like the nice sky, especially in the summer when the Milky Way is out. Awesome, awesome for that. Um, you can do planetary observing. You will have to get either a shorter focal length eyepiece or probably a Barlow lens that doubles the magnification um, of any eyepiece. So if you got a Barlow lens, this eyepiece will turn from a uh, 40x eyepiece into a 80x eyepiece, which you can see uh, you know like. Uh, the bands of Jupiter uh, at EDX already, you'll be able to see uh, the rings of Saturn, which is really exciting. Uh, the moon will look good even at 40x, I mean, you can see a good amount of detail with uh, like craters and that type of deal. Um, so yeah, overall, I mean, really easy to use, this thing's really light, so pretty much any, you know, like, child will be able to, like, pick this up, you know, like, Assuming if they're like probably like eight or older, I, I really don't see uh, an issue with that. You can actually break it down into two components, so you can actually take the tube off of the mount and it makes it even lighter. Uh, this is kind of a cool feature, uh, just in case you kind of get deeper into the hobby, you can actually use this in the future on a different mount, uh, so that's kind of a cool thing um, that I always enjoy. I always enjoy when a scope can do that. Um, So putting this back on here, 
Seems like it took me a lot less time to take it off and put it back on. Okay, um, so yeah, focuser on this guy. It's a single speed, uh, one and a quarter inch uh, focuser. So basically, uh, the eyepiece, you'll uh, take the little dust cap off here. Um, eyepiece goes in here. And basically, so again, you'll kind of sight in the target with the little uh, red dot finder scope. And then, you know, you'll start to observe. Uh, you focus with here, you know, with the little focus knob. Um, overall, um, for being a budget scope, you know, those focusers roll it pretty smoothly, honestly. I mean, this feels, you know, pretty good. I mean, is it, a, you know, is it as good as a, you know, top of the line uh, model like this one, like a Moonlight or a Feather Touch? Uh, no, it's not. You know, it's not nearly as smooth as that. But for, for kind of like an entry level scope, but I'm actually pretty impressed with it, honestly. It feels pretty good. Um, so yeah, they make this model that's around 100 bucks. Orionox actually makes a 4.5 inch model that's a little bit bigger. Uh, they're usually in a teal tube that's around a couple hundred bucks. Uh, that's actually a really good option as well. So I'll post a link to that one and to this guy. Um, and then yeah, I mean this thing, you know, it'll, if, if your child's interested in astronomy, this will really get them a good scope to start seeing you know, some star clusters, some of the brighter nebula, some galaxies, some of the brighter galaxies like the Andromeda galaxy. Um, so, uh, yeah, really good option. If you're, you know, and, you know, I keep on talking about a child because, you know, it's kind of more like a Christmas type of gift uh, that I'm talking about. If you're kind of older, you know, and you're thinking about getting into the hobby and you're on a budget or just don't want to, you know, throw too much money into the hobby until you kind of, you know, figure out if it's going to be your thing. This is actually a really good option too because it gives you a nice little low power scope. I mean, this thing's super portable. Like this would make a really good camping telescope. So if you don't want to, like even if you have a much bigger telescope, you can bring this thing with you because it just doesn't take a, you know up too much room. Uh, go take a camping with you. Um, if you got kids, grandkids that really enjoy that too, it's, you know, gives them something extra to do while you're camping. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, if you, uh, you know, if, if uh, you've got a little bit more of a budget, uh, the other really good option that I'd recommend is the Celestron Nexstar 6 SC, this guy. Um, I actually have a separate YouTube video on that, so I'm not going to go too much into the details of that. Uh, but what all this gives you is essentially, just a quick rundown, is that this has a computer that will find any object in the night sky automatically for you. So that's one of the biggest advantages. Uh, this is also a six inch telescope versus a four inch. So everything's just gonna be brighter and a little bit more detailed. So anyhow, um, yeah, Merry Christmas. Um, and uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, please leave them in the link below. And I'll see you guys next time.